Hey, hello and welcome to today's GFG Crown of the Day. Hope you are doing well. So let's say today's problem, closest neighbor in BST. Okay. So in this problem, we'll be given a binary search tree. Okay. And a value N, right? N, for example, it is 24. Now what we want to do is, we want to find a greatest number in this. We want to find the greatest number in this binary search tree, right? Whose value will be less than or equal to N. Okay. So here, the greatest number is what? It is 21, right? It is 21. Okay. So how we'll find out, how we'll find out the greatest number, what, what intuition, what logic we're going to apply. Okay. So we're going to leverage the property of binary search tree. So what, what it says, so the values on the right side, for example, if this is the current node, right? If this is a current node, so the values on the right side, right? On the right side nodes will be, will be greater than the values on the right side nodes will be greater than the value of the current node, right? So this is a property of binary search tree and the values on the left side nodes will be lesser than, right? Then the current node, if this is the current node, right? So this is a property of binary search tree. We are going to leverage the same property. And this property applies on every node, as you know, right? So let's see. So for example, we'll also have, we'll maintain an answer variable, okay? So we'll, we'll have a current node, which will, current pointer, which will point to the root node, okay? So here we are going to check if the current node value, if the current node value, if it is less than or equal to n, if it is less than or equal to n, then we are going to, we are going to first initialize this as this five is less than n, less than or equal to n, right? So we are initialize answer with five. And then we are going to go to the right side, right? We are going to check again the value of two, uh, the value, right? 12. If it is less than or equal to n, yes, it is less than or equal to n. So we will change the answer value and we'll go to the right side. Here we are going to check if 21 is less than or equal to uh, n, right? Yes, it is. Then we are going to update the answer and then we are going to go to the right. Right. So here we uh, come across 25. We are going to check if it is less than or equal to n. No, it is not. Then we are going to go to the left side. So whenever we find a greater value, right, a greater value than n, then we are going to go to the left side, searching for values, still searching for values, which will be greater, which will be greatest, but less than or equal to n. So it may be the case, right? It would have been year 23, right? It is still following the property of BS, right? So 23, it is greater than 21. Right. And if you go to the left side, then this would have been the bigger number, right? 23 would have been the bigger number, but here, since we don't have anything, right? It is null. Like the left child, uh, like 25 does not have the left child, right? So here we are going to stop. So whenever we come across null, we are going to, we are, we are going to stop. Okay. And whatever uh, we have, right? The answer variable, we are going to return. So 21 is the answer, uh, answer, right? So we're going to return that. Okay, so this is intuition behind solving the problem. So before going to the code, I would request you to subscribe to my channel. Okay, thank you so much. Now I'm going to show you the Java code followed by C++. Okay, so let's quickly write the code. Node cur equal to file cur is not equal to none. What we're going to do? We're going to check if current dot key, right? If it is less than or equal to n, then we'll also have answer variable, which will initialize with minus one, right? Now, since the current node, it is less than n, right? So we'll initialize an answer with current dot key, right? And we'll go to the right. We'll go to the right side. Current equal to current dot right. So that's what we are doing here, right? So five, five, it is less than n, right? So we are, we are having answer in, in answer, we are initializing with five, right? And then we are going to the right. That's what we are doing here, right? That's what we did here, right? Okay. Now, if else, if the current dot key, if it is greater than n, then what we are going to do? We are going, we are going to go to the left side, right? So that's what we did here, right? We came, when we came across this 25, it was greater than n, right? So we went to the left. So left, there can be more nodes, right? As I said, there can be more nodes. So we went to the left, right? And again, we are, we are going to come here. If it is, if left is not null, right? If current is not null, then again, we are going to check, right? In the, in this way, we are going to move ahead. So yes, so we simply return. Once we find current as null, so we are going to return the answer. Let me compile it. Submit.
So yeah, the test case have been executed. I would request you to subscribe to my channel and like the video. Let me now show the C++ code. It's almost the same, right? So here we are having uh, current pointer pointing to the root answer equal to minus one. We are uh, will uh, go into the loop till current is not null, right? And here we're going to check. We are checking here if current dot key if it is less than n, then initialize answer, right? Assign uh, the current uh, key to the answer and then go to the right, right? If the current dot key if it is greater than n, then go to the left, right? In this way, we're going to go till current is not null, right? And then finally, we're going to return answer. So yeah, so this is a C++ code. I, have, I hope you've got the solution. Thanks for watching. Have a happy, healthy and a great day. Thank you so much.